Welcome to Concert Hall. Concert Hall. Presenting the exquisite voice of Dorothy Maynard, one of the world's great pianists, Arthur Rubenstein, and your Concert Hall host, Lionel Barrymore. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to another program from Concert Hall. Our first guest, Arthur Rubenstein, has three loves in this life. His piano, his cigar, and his favorite composer and countryman, Chopin. To get to Mr. Rubenstein's first love, the piano, he must remove his second love, a cigar, from his mouth. Now, he's doing that now so that he can play for you. Here he is, Arthur Rubenstein playing the Navarra by the Spanish composer Albania.
Thank you, Mr. Rubin. Our next guest has overcome many obstacles in carving a niche for herself among the great artists of our day. As recently as 1939, Dorothy Maynard was an unknown when she went up to the famous Berkshire Music Festival with only a thin hope of an audition with Serge Kusevitsky, conductor of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. The maestro was so impressed with her voice that he invited her to sing at his picnic the next day before members of the Boston Symphony Orchestra and his select group of critics. Dorothy Maynard was an immediate success and audiences all over America have since concurred in that opinion. Miss Maynor now sings the familiar in the gloaming. Thank you, Miss May. Otto Rubinstein returns to the podium now to play the closing selection on this program. But there's an interesting story behind the composition he's going to play, so I persuaded him to come up here and tell it to you himself. Mr. Rubinstein. Thank you, Mr. Barrymore. I would like to dedicate my next number, the Polonaise in A Major by Chopin, to all of you men who are fighting so magnificently against fascism all over the world. It is a song of courage and determination which has become virtually the national anthem of my native Poland. It was the last message to come from the Free Polish Radio in Warsaw in 1939 while the Germans were destroying the city. I would like to play that Polonaise now as a symbol of the Free Poland that will live again and as an expression of gratitude to you men of the United Nations who are fighting for freedom in the world.
Thank you, Mr. Rubenstein, for a perfectly, truly inspiring performance. And our thanks to you, too, Dorothy Maynard. We shall look forward to your early return, both of you. And remember, if you have a favorite artist you'd like to hear on this program, let me know and I'll try to have him appear for you. Until the next time, then, good luck and goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Barrymore. And fellows, why not follow Mr. Barrymore's suggestion? Simply write to Concert Hall, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. This is Carlton Cadell adding his own good wishes to you. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.